vegan carnivore took a trip to the now famous Montreal hotspot Au Vivre to speak with owner Michael McCon about what makes them so unique, the teamwork it takes to run the operation, and how customer satisfaction is one of the restaurant's core values. What I find is when you come in here, you, you, you get this feeling that you could be in a national chain anywhere in North America, yet you get that freshness that you'll get at a small, off the beaten path, beaten it kind of restaurant. Well, and how did you find that, that formula? Well, I think we're just arriving at that place. Um, I think there's room for everybody in this market. I think the small mom and pop places are always going to be there and need to be there. For sure. How do you think the restaurant bridges the gap between vegans and carnivores? Um, tasty food. Really, at the end of the day, people will eat anything as yeah. long as it tastes, tastes good. good. Yeah, you know, for that's, sure. It needs to taste good. Um, so how do we bridge the gap? You have to have a tasty product, but you need to grill things. Like we do a portobello burger that has a nice rich almost meaty flavor you get like a, a delicious smokiness from that uh, that mushroom burger um, that that makes people feel like you know what this kind of this came off the grill uh, for carnivores it's not I mean it's not that much of a stretch mm. to identify with that that it, you know it's it's rich it's dark it's drippy it's got a nice chewy texture it's not that unlike uh, you know a, a burger a traditional burger right now you guys how long has it been since you guys been serving brunch and having that brunch option brunch goes back a long way and we've been doing brunch for as long as i can remember okay. um, it goes back to our old location on saint dominique Au Vivre are famous for their organic, fair trade filtered coffee, which they serve with heart shaped soy foam to the delight of their customers. We do a crispy polenta. We've got your corn based polenta, crisped up, served with uh, black beans, salad, guacamole. Uh, we also do a uh, the waffles. Mm. Really big hit. Uh, made to order. We have got some really nice waffle machines in the back. They're delicious. We serve them with cashew cream and uh, Quebec maple syrup, wow. and they're a hit. Brunch at Au Vivre is a really special experience that is strongly recommended to anyone into filling up with traditional style vegan breakfast dishes. So Mike, this is the classic BLT. Yeah, you're looking at it. I'm gonna take a bite of this. Tell me what's inside of this thing. All right. Mm. Fresh chapati, um. crispy uh, BLT, which is our smoked coconut. Mm. Mm. Ripe tomatoes, vegan mayo, and a nice fresh lettuce. And all these chapatis handmade yep. in the kitchen here. Handmade. That was a dough about that size, 180 grams, that was flattened and then baked just before you ordered that sandwich. So, in order to bake one of these, how long would it, like you, you, you flatten it, how long is the baking process? Uh, it takes about a minute okay. and a half to bake it thoroughly. Yeah. So you, and when you guys, in terms of baking them, you, you got it down to a system that you can you can turn these out. Yeah, you can get them up pretty fast now. Wow. Yeah. Michael and his brother Liam are Au Vivre's lone co-founders, and they remain involved in the restaurant's day-to-day -day operations and growth to this day. You'll often find longtime manager Charles Gahan buzzing around the place, doing an amazing job of keeping everyone happy. It, we just put out a comment box and have been learning an enormous amount from our customers, the kinds of things they'd like to see on the menu. There's no better time to take a break from cooking than during holiday time, and Au Vivre are more than ready to receive. There is something for everybody here, and it's known as a favorite among kids. We've got a lot of projects ahead. Uh, we're constantly thinking of ways to expand the business, and yeah, I think we've got a few more tricks up our sleeve. This is the kind of restaurant that really cares about its customers, and it shows. Go try out Au Vivre if you haven't yet. You will not be disappointed. Follow Vegan Carnivore and Ovivra on Twitter and Facebook.